Hey everybody, Mark here from Visa Tui with this month's Wine of the Month Club recipe. My tangy, sweet, and smoky scallops. No better time to start revving up the grill and get back outside and start enjoying some of these amazing dishes with our amazing weather. So happy 4th to everybody. This month, we're talking about our 2021 Sauvignon Blanc. Now, whether we're talking about just our Napa Valley edition or our Carsey Reserve, this dish is going to be the absolute perfect pairing to set off this wine. And the key to that is the dryness. And these are absolutely beautiful, bone dry and crisp wines. So nothing but acidity and refreshing minerality. Tons of fruit, however, that's always the hallmark of our wines. Perfect for this kind of weather. So let's get started. Now, firstly, we're going to mince up some garlic and we're going to need four cloves. And again, always the easiest way, just snip off that root end, give it a tap. It should fall nicely uh, out of its paper skin. We're gonna go for a nice fine mince and always the back of the knife. Those of you who've watched my shows before know that using that nice sharp backside of the knife while hanging it off the side of the cutting board will actually really just mince it right off of the clove. It's such a beautiful little trick. So now we've got our garlic mince just into a mixing bowl. Now we're gonna get some fresh herbs into this dish as well. And one of my favorites is kind of little known as marjoram. And marjoram is essentially, it's oregano, but it's when an oregano is going through or beginning its flowering stage. So it has a much more sweet aroma uh, than your typical oregano would. So let's strip off our leaves here, get rid of those big woody pieces, of course. You know, this is gonna be about, that's a you know, teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons worth. And of course, this into our mixing bowl as well. And the final herb that's gonna go in this, that's parsley. It does have a sweetness to it. And that's part of my tangy, sweet, and smoky recipe here. So gather these all up once you get rid of those more wooden stem pieces. Kind of pinch it between your fingers, pin it down to the board, and then you can run your knife nicely through it to get a nice chiffonade, as they say in France, or just a fine cut through it into the bowl. It's time to bring into the program the tangy part, and that's all going to come from lemon. Not only lemon juice itself, but some lemon zest as well. And using one of these nice little microplanes, You'll always just capture the beautiful sweet and an aromatic zest and none of that bitter white pith that lies in between it and the actual fruit of the lemon. So into our mixing bowl with this. And then, you know, of course, use that same lemon cutter in half. And we're gonna need about, a, oh, I think quarter to a half a cup, just depending upon how really tangy you do like things. This dish does deserve a high acidity, no matter what your tolerance is. And that's simply to, to complement that great acidity of our Sauvignon Blanc. And, you know, one of the amazing things in the wine and food pairing world is things that are alike. Instead of amplifying what those two positives represent, it will actually have a more harmonious effect. But it's going to remain with all of the flavors that I want. And now some of our Visa Tui estate honey. You're gonna need about a third of a cup. This would be our sweet component, of course. And whenever you put sugars on the grill, you're gonna get a nice caramelization. And for this dish, you should have your grill really ripping at a nice high temperature because scallops themselves do not take a long time to cook. And one of my favorite ingredients, and I think most people have heard of paprika, but maybe not pimenton, which is the word for the smoked paprika. And boy, I'll tell you, when you combine an already smoky ingredient going onto a smoky grill. You will amplify those effects, I guarantee you. Do need some salt. Some fresh cracked black pepper. And then some California extra virgin olive oil. And I bet you can all probably guess whose olive oil this is. Of course, we do have our own here at Bisa Tui. So we need a couple tablespoons of this and give these things all a good mix. 
So now that we're all mixed up here, of course, we'll bring the, the star of the show here to the game, which would be our beautiful diver scallops. I had about 20 of these. You know, I'm planning on doing, oh, four to five skewers worth. So we're gonna give these a good mix and cover this, stick it in the refrigerator, and we're gonna be coming back in about an hour. Now it's really important, no more than one hour, because what happens is you will actually begin to make ceviche. And that's when the acids will actually begin to cook the proteins and scallop protein is so tender. You don't wanna to go too far. And what'll happen is not only you're already cooked, you won't have any need for the grill, but it'll also become very rubbery in the end. So we'll come back in an hour and we'll get these guys skewered and on our grill. So it's been just under an hour in the fridge. It's time to get these onto the skewers and then onto the grill. Now, metal skewers are always the best, but if you don't have any of these around, pretty much everywhere, any store, you can find those bamboo skewers, but just make sure that you soak them uh, overnight. I think, you know, five of these on each skewer is gonna look nice and hearty in the end here. So we've got our four skewers, like I said, about five on each. You wanna make sure that you have a nice hot fire going here so that we get that great caramelization of those sugars from the honey. And then right on to our hot grill. Now scallops, such a tender protein, they only really need one to two minutes per side. You do not want to overcook scallops. It's actually best to have these perhaps come off the grill just a little bit underdone so that as they're sitting there cooling down and they continue to cook, they then reach that perfect final temperature. Now, just before you're going to flip these the first time, cut a lemon in half and puts that onto the hottest part of your grill. So we get some nice char marks on this. And this is just going to be an accompaniment on the platter when we actually put this out to serve. All right, guys, it's time to give our beautiful scallops a flip. Ah, that's the one. And just about another one to two minutes, as I had mentioned, but let's give it just another fresh shot of that marinade left over. All right, so while that final minute is going on with the scallops on the grill, let's get just the rest of the components for the completed dish together. So use whatever you like, maybe a little baby arugula or even spring mix would be okay. But I like a nice crunch and the spice component that comes from the micro radish. And so they're not just plain, a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil on the top. I'll give these a nice toss. We'll go right onto the middle have a nice serving platter here. If you remember those lemons we stuck on the grill in the beginning, so some nice char on there. And I think it's time, you guys. Now look at that, you guys. Who could ask for anything more on a beautiful summer day so I think it's time to see how we did. Uh, and again, just so beautiful and bright, crisp, citrusy notes. Let's go for the scallop. Mm. As I promised you, sweet, smoky, and tangy. Wow, what a match made in heaven, you guys. Sure to be a hit at your next outdoor grilling party. What a great way to kick off the barbecue season. Until next time, bon appetito.